Good morning, uh, or good afternoon. So hopefully you've already read chapters one and two. I kind of want to go over um, the annotation with you to make sure that you're uh, annotating the correct way. So when I've asked you to annotate for characterization and, and foreshadowing as in the agenda, so on your second time through the chapter, that's when you should do your annotating after you've done your first read. So I'm going to annotate um, some of the characterization in chapter one and chapter two and, and touch on some other events that might be uh, some foreshadowing. So first of all, the first character we're introduced to is Mr. Jones. And the first thing that we learn about him is that he's a drunk. Um, as we continue to read on, Old Major, who is a pig, he's the prize middle uh, white boar. Um, he's very well and highly regarded on the farm um, because everybody was quite willing to lose an hour asleep just to hear what he has to say. Um, as we continue on reading, we're introduced to Bluebell, Jesse, and Pincher, which are the three dogs. Also, there's some additional information right here about Old Major. Again, some characterization. Um, he was 12, rather stout, majestic looking. But let's go back down to the dogs. We don't really learn anything more about the dogs. We're just introduced to them right here. Um, here we are introduced to two cart horses, Boxer and Clover. Um, a clover, very stout, motherly, approaching middle life. And then we have Boxer, who is enormous beast, nearly 18 hands high. He's got a stupid appearance. And it also talks about him. Uh, he is respected universally. Um, and his for his tremendous power and work ethic, but it also talks about him not being quite first-rate intelligent, so that kind of tells us that he's viewed as not being very smart. Um, then we learn more about Benjamin, Benjamin and Muriel, the white goat, Benjamin the donkey. Um, Benjamin's very devoted to Boxer, but it also talks about how he's the oldest animal on the farm and in that he's very cynical. So if we go to the next page, um, we're introduced to Molly, who is foolish, pretty, white mare. Um, it talks about how she is chewing lumps of sugar and also about how she likes to wear ribbons. Um, she likes her appearance and the things that Mr. Jones gives to her. So she, I would say she's very vain. She's very self-centered. Okay. Then we're introduced to Moses, Moses the Tame Raven. We'll learn a little bit more about him later on in this chapter, or next chapter. So it goes into talking about, Old Major starts talking about his dream, and he talks about the lives of the animals, their current lives. And he says, he goes into detail, but basically he's saying the, the life of the animals is of misery and slavery, and that's the plain truth. And who he blames for that, um, one single word, man, Okay, so man is the evil of all that has happened to the animals. He goes in and talks again, continuing about how man um, consumes rather than producing, that the farm animals have very little food and sustenance to keep them alive, just, just barely enough. And then we go into continuing old Major's speech, and he starts to talk about his dream. Um, and he also brings up the only thing that we have left and to take care of ourselves is to rebel, to create a rebellion. Um, his maxim, um, part of the vocabulary words, his motto, all men are enemies, all animals are comrades. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it goes into talking a little bit more about what he considers, um, what is his maxim, what is his uh, mantra, what is what should the animals, how should the animals, what, and what should they live by? So these are his maxims. Then it goes into um, his specific dream and how he remembers. And here is the song. We'll go into much more detail about the song tomorrow. So look for that in your lesson tomorrow. We're going to do a TP cast, analyze it a little bit. So here is the end of chapter one. We find out that the clever characters are the pigs and the dogs, and those are the ones that are considered very clever. Um, then it talks about what has happened, or it talks about more characterization of specifically the pigs of Snowball, Napoleon, <coughs> and Squealer, excuse me. These are the three main pigs. It talks about their teaching and how they go and develop a system of thought called animalism based upon old majors' thoughts 
and his teachings um, that he covered in his speech. Then we go on and gives further characterization of Molly here. We talk about, she's asking, well, under animalism, will we still um, have ribbons? Will I still be given sugar again? She's vain. Um, here's where we learn a little bit more about Moses. Um, he is Mr. Jones's pet, and he's, a, he's considered a spy and a tale bearer. He tells the animals about this place called Sugar, Sugar Candy Mountain. Instead of being slaughtered, as Old Major says in his uh, speech, uh, uh, Moses actually is spinning this tale of there's a Sugar a Candy Mountain, kind of so very similar to heaven. And then we have a little bit more characterization uh, about Boxer. Then we go into a little bit more detail about why Mr. Jones is the way he is and what uh, he used to be in the past. And then it talks about a day where Mr. Jones goes off drinking um, and what happens um, step by step. One, this happens, cause and effect. Um, Mr. Jones gets drunk, leaves the farm. Um, the men milk the cows, but they don't feed the animals. Mr. Jones comes home. The animals still are unfed. And this is where the animals start to fight back. And they start to fight back um, in a way that the men and, and Farmer Jones and his wife flee. Okay? And Joan is a, Joan, Mr. Jones and his wife is expelled from the farm. Um, it continues on to talk about the celebrations that they're having, about how they go into the farmhouse and how everything is so luxurious that they've decided to keep it as a museum. Um, talks about, uh, again, Molly being very vain. Um, and it talks as they're walking through, <coughs> walking through the uh, kitchen and seeing pigs hanging up, hams, and so they bury them. And um, all agree that no animals must ever live uh, like this and live in this house. And then um, the pigs now reveal for the past three months they've taught themselves to read and write. So why are they keeping this a secret until they finally reveal that they can read and write? A little bit of for, uh, foreshadowing. Manor Farm, they change it to Animal Farm. Um, these come from Old Major's speech on page three, the t Seven Commandments. And then let's do a little bit of foreshadowing. Um, the pigs milk the cows, and someone asks, what's going to happen to the milk? Hmm, we don't know. And all the pigs respond is, uh, come on, don't worry about that. That'll be attended to. So a little bit of foreshadowing. What's going to happen to the milk? What is this... Uh, uh, what is the secret? Again, this might be a second secret they're going to keep. So a little bit of foreshadowing. So um, hopefully tomorrow you'll have a quiz over chapter one and two. Um, it will be loaded uh, into Schoology probably at the time of your when your class period should start. If you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to reach out and send me a message. And don't forget to send me your votes for class favorites, boy and girl. Um, today is the deadline. Thank you.